idle staring, staring to expedience, expedience the staring, staring to golden dreams, dreams to bless all souls, souls with wise advice, advice which we may say, saying heed to give means, means achieving our goals, goals that roll the dice, dice that guide our pathway, pathway so different it seems, seems life inspires our falls, falls in the air then rises, rises fire to a bright ray, ray in silver water streams, streams through our soils, soils to form a pure existence, existence brings a new day, a day we all see and have seen, seen then dream, the inspiral. I think it's incredibly important young people develop a proper understanding of where their food comes from and through a space like this we can really show that from everything we've had the young people last year were milling their own flour from wheat that they grew to things as simple as taking eggs from the chickens. Um, I also think just this access to nutritious food is so important and sadly lacking in so many communities in Scotland. And Places like this can become a real hub for growing nutritious food, learning about nutritious food, teaching people basic cooking skills. Um, it's a very holistic environment and it's very, very important. We have a real hardcore group of volunteers who are here every week. We have people that'll just pop their heads in and ask me a few questions about gardening. We have people who I'll come out and help them in their garden as long as they're kind of relatively local. Um, and we have people that just love the food and <laughs> just come and eat. I'm local to Black Hill, so I stay tuned this way for the, where the project is. Coming here, I have learned a, a lot. Uh, so, cooking. Before I started coming here, I couldn't ever cook. And it'd be like microwave meals I'd be making myself, or sort of toast and stuff. So, I've learned how to make all my own dinners, my own lunches, prep my own food. I've actually learned a bit about growing that is something I was never actually interested in just getting to grow fruit and veg and then seeing where it comes from and then take it home and actually put it into a meal. It's getting everybody back together the way this community used to be. Sometimes you, you kind of put the work behind you, you're still bringing it home with you. So sometimes I would even come over here with a cup of coffee, meditating without even knowing you're meditating. But you're just, just taking away from what is stressful, coming here, nice open spaces, just potting about. And when you see the things that are growing here, they're amazing amazing and it tastes lovely as well. What's up with your frog? I can see it in your face. Planet Stander, is he under human rights? Who tell you that nonsense, my dear? We learnt about COP26. That know a new polar show that's coming on Netflix? Listen, Dad, we have to change. The planet's getting hotter. About time too. We could do me mere son, my radical wee daughter. The glaciers are melting that. The sea levels are rising, by the by. Well, the effect does, my pet, because you're 20 stories high. The dolphins and whales are dying. Our fish are in polluted water. Doesn't it bother me, my dear? As long as they're in batter. Come here and look out the window. Let's take in the view. There's sky. There's clouds. There's grass. There's trees. But I can't see your CO2. We have to do more recycling, Dad. We tried that a while ago. Your mum bought recycled toilet paper, but I just thought, no. Well, the leaders are coming to Glasgow and the Pope is coming too. Well, I'd better get down to the job centre. There'll be jobs for a litter picking crew. Holy star, I just gee up. You've really left me smarting. Pointless task they have ahead. How do you stop crews farting? Don't you worry, my pet. The leaders will all come and chat. We Nicky will form a committee, and that'll be the end of that. Do you want genetically modified chips with your factory raised burger? Because EastEnders is coming on, and I'm worried about the murder. Murder, you say? 
Are you for real? We're murdering the earth. You and I. It's the ground wings that'll suffer. Save the planet. Did you? I. Here are my top tips for how to create a fun video using just your phone. If you're on your own and don't have someone to hold your camera for you to shoot your shot, don't worry about it. Use a bookshelf, a countertop, your window sill. Just make sure the window is shut. I speak from experience. And there you go. You've got your own camera person. No cost there. But if you've managed to save some money, you can invest in a mini tripod. If you're going for that flawless, poreless, I look so natural in the sunlight look, put your phone in front of the window. It's the most natural lighting you can get. I'm actually using it right now and it's free. Just make sure if you are shooting for natural light that you do this earlier in the day as the lighting can change and make the whole video look untidy. Even using simple lamps in your house can help lighting look more professional as well. You don't need to worry about buying a 200 pound lighting system. But I mean, if you can afford that, then get me one too. Portrait mode is when your phone is upright like this. So if you're going to shoot this way, then I mean, you're not really gonna get the whole range of whatever you're going for in the shoot. There is nothing worse than when you're shooting a video and you look back on it in your editing room and all of a sudden you have two black lines down either side of your screen. Whenever I'm shooting a video, like I'm shooting this one right now, I always have my phone landscape. This opens up the camera shots and ensures that you don't miss anything out when filming. Also, quick tip for me, make sure you double tap that screen when you're shooting so that your shot is in focus. If you have an Android or a smartphone, your phone should already come with a pre-installed app for video editing. But listen, if you find that you're not comfortable using the apps that have been built into your phone, there's nothing stopping you from going and doing a little bit of research and finding lots of free apps that are out there that you can download onto your device. That just might work better for you. Every single smartphone has a microphone built in, so there's no need to go out there and buy yourself a microphone to use for your sound. Another quick tip is just to remember that if you are recording without a microphone, to keep your mobile phone at arm's length. Um, if it's too far away, you're just gonna pick up other sounds that you don't want in your shot, and your vocals might just be too quiet if it's like really far away. If you are looking to up your game and you have some spare cash lying around, there's nothing stopping you from investing in a little plug-in mic that you can just clip onto your jacket or your top. Don't be worried about having to have the most high-tech, up-to-date equipment. Just use whatever you've got and just make content that's fun for you. That's the biggest tip of all. Just make something that you would enjoy, that you want to be in, that you want to show your friends and family. That's what it's all about at the end of the day. Creativity has no limit and you can just do whatever you want. So thank you so much for watching and go get creative. Bye guys. Hi, we're going to interview each other about Paula and Glasgow.
three favourite places to go in Pollock. One is to go to Pollock Park, so that's a really big park, and there's um, a river in it that I can go in. Two is to go on a really big walk to the Gruffalo Trail in the forest, and three is to go on a really big massive forest with hills. <laughs> Do you know about Pollock? Well, there's loads of interesting places that you can go and visit, and my favourite place is going to Pollock Park. What do you like about Pollock? That there's fun places and I have my friends and family. What do you enjoy doing in Pollock? I enjoy having fun with my friends on my bike. Thank you for listening. Goodbye. Togetherness. It's very important, the support of the community. Collectiveness. Friendship. Hospitality. Friendly and meeting people. Support. Involvement. Community is where society comes together to protect and support our friends, our family, our neighbours, as well as fellow human beings throughout the whole world. Togetherness. Uh, sport. Belonging. Home. Support. Strength. Means friendship. Inclusiveness. Put something back in. Helping where others have helped me in the past. Amazing. Compassion. Amazing. Vibrant. Glasgow is friendly. Glasgow and Home. Oh. Welcoming. Mine. <laughs> Comfort. Friendly. Welcoming. Friendly. Bohemian. Brilliant. Welcoming. Friendship. Yay. <laughs> Thank you.
when the pandemic happened, I start to have the online tutoring um, to prepare myself for IELTS exam with my teacher, which I really appreciate the, the hair offered, Helen. It was really great, um, great experience. It was really easier to have an online classes because I have three children. I have to take care of them. And, but in the same time, I'm looking forward to, to do something which has helped me to uh, relax and be happy again. Uh, of ESOL class and uh, I'm enjoy because I, I am learning English and it's better for me because uh, I, I have to learn English for talking about another people and uh, uh, got job for everything and uh, I will succeed uh, I know. Hi my name is Salha I live in in a glass school with my family. I won't learn English because, because to help uh, my uh, kids and uh, make new friends. Hi, I'm Kevin Walls. I'm a filmmaker and I've been working in film and TV for around six years now. And today I'm gonna to share with you some top tips on how to record some great interviews on your smartphone. Great sound is incredibly important when you are recording interviews. So stay away from loud sources of noise like busy roads, overhead lights, or noisy refrigerators because all of these unwanted sounds can actually make it really difficult for your audience to hear your interviewee. You might not always have access to expensive lighting equipment, but you should always have access to daylight. So try positioning your subject near a window and use the sun as your main source of light. If the sunlight coming through the window is too harsh, you can hang something like a white tablecloth or a white bedsheet over the window and this will diffuse or soften the light coming through the window and it will provide a much more flattering light on your interviewee. A simple smile can go a long way when you first meet someone and it can instantly make them feel more comfortable. Chat with them beforehand, ask them about their day, offer to get them a glass of water. Do your best to make them feel as welcomed as you possibly can. Closed questions are questions that can be answered with a simple answer like yes or no. And these types of questions don't really provide interesting answers for great interviews. So instead we ask open questions, which are questions that can't be answered with a simple answer like yes or no. For example, if I ask a closed question to my interviewee like, do you like broccoli? They might answer yes or they might answer no. But if I ask an open question like, can you tell me what you think about broccoli? My interviewee will most likely give me a more in-depth and interesting answer. A great interviewer is just as good at listening as they are at asking great questions. Listening carefully to what your interviewee is saying will make you think of new and interesting questions that you might not have otherwise thought of. It will also make your interviewee feel more comfortable and confident because they know that you are listening closely to what they're saying and you're really interested in what it is that they have to say. Now you should have the tools that you need to record great interviews on your smartphone. So good luck and remember to have fun. Evolution or extinction, what would you choose? What is evolution? A species gives life, growing with adaptation, striving to survive, 
generate the population. What does this come from? What the nature nature plan? Plan? The demise begins with the rise of industrial demands, replacing flowers with high towers for the benefit of modern man. Yet we are entranced by the beauty and diversity of nature with its fascinating creatures. They look so cute and sweet, sat neat in a picture, but at what cost to their habitats? What What's their future? future? The promise of utopia fuels our expectations. Disregarding the environment, we build giant institutions. This bold new world offers limitless convenience. We can travel far as we please with elegance and ease. Just fill up the tank, hop on a plane, take an intercity at modest expense. Remember, Remember save the whale, whale when we first voiced our concern, but this ancient gentle giant of our ocean is again at the centre of alarm. Their migratory path chokes with polythene and plastics, inflicting more harm. Our children are the ones who will inherit our nation. Is it fair to pass the buck to the future generation? They are crying out to us, save the earth from extinction. And we pass on later, meet our maker, our creator. I can hear those old words of warning, wisdom forthcoming. What, what shall our prophet hear in if we gain, gain the whole, whole world, world and lose our own soul. soul. Clean, natural energy that rains from above, flows all around us and gives life to everything that grows. Raw energy being captured and transformed, converted into electrical energy that we can use to keep us warm, give us light and keep us all connected. As dancers and musicians, we wanted to embody this energy and understand its pure essence so we could show our audiences the beauty and power of this timeless element and the gifts it brings. Choreographer Lisa Simpson has been helping Paragon's M3 dancers devise their own dance piece based on hydroelectric power. We learned about the science and processes of hydroelectricity. The water cycle, reservoirs and dams, turbines whirled by plunging cascades, rotating magnets transforming the energy into an electric current. These ideas inspired the dancers' moves. I'm a chess grandmaster. I'm a big mountain and I can be my dad. Top of the king, fantastic uh, access to chess because it does give the chance for a not very experienced player to be a grandmaster. I have lost in top of the king several times. And uh, this kind of randomness uh, really adds something to it as a, an introduction to chess. It's just Fun. Anything that makes chess more exciting is great for me. Chess is my, my first love. It's fun and um, it makes me think, so I like it. It's just a very 
My top tips for creating some amazing photos on your phone. Today smartphones have so many cool features and allow you to improve your photography right here on your phone. Features such as HDR, light painting, panorama, the list goes on. All of these allow you to up your photography game from a simple snap on your phone to some really amazing photos. So many photographers have gained fame from taking self portraits. So why not use the self timer feature on your phone and prop your phone up and get some cool shots of your ideas. I'm not just talking taking selfies on your phone, I'm talking about creating some amazing photos from an idea that you've had that could convey a message that's really important to you. Most phones nowadays feature the pro mode on the camera app. On pro modes on your phone, the settings are very similar to those that you would find on a DSLR camera, such as aperture, shutter speed, ISO. 10 years ago, this sort of thing on your phone was unheard of. So it's better now more than ever to learn more about photography on your phone. The one thing I always say to those that want to learn more about photography is to experiment with these settings, learn more about them, and what better way to learn about these than using something you already have, your phone. Don't be afraid to change up the angles of what you're taking a photo of. Instead of standing right in front of the subject and taking a photo straight on, maybe try squatting on the ground taking the photo from a low angle, or standing up high and tall making your subject lower than you to take it from a high angle and create a more unique shot. Work it! Editing is a super important factor for a photographer. Now I'm not talking about putting a sepia filter on your photos. Ugh. No, no, no. Instead, I'm talking about playing about with the exposure, contrast, the highlights, the colours, blah, 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 blah. And doing this in apps that are specifically made for photography editing. So hopefully those top tips help you on your photography journey and help you lift your photos to the next level. Don't be afraid to make mistakes because you always learn by your mistakes and sometimes the best photos come from little mistakes. So get out there, get creative, and go create some amazing photography. Stay safe, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.
The rolling blanket cradles the earth below, submerged by time, layer upon layer, down where energies flow. Buried deep, an ancient network of nooks and crannies host micro-families who thrive and grow. Obscured in the tangling matrix, jousting concertos exude an eclectic glow. A reverberant cacophony soars as the mysteries of origins flow are released from source deep down below. Listen, hear the breathing, the heart is beating, and with constant change, old worlds give way to the new. A tiny signal generates a deluge of thunderous sonic waves. Torrents flood tunnels, impounding the darkest cave. The beating microclimate gurgles and wretches as the intrusion invades. But the flow heaves as it consumes the teeming waves, bringing life to life as the continuum pervades. Symphonic pulsing, organic coding, data connecting, computation commencing. Sensing the presence of colour sound all around, streams intertwine the transfiguring data line. Communications charge far and wide, continuously multiplying encrypted sign, permeate the chaos of cyberspace time. With weather returning, our underworld keeps churning. With raindrops falling, the skylark keeps singing. And below the blanket, life keeps evolving. And with every breath, the wild keeps calling. At the Climate Literacy course, we are learning how to keep a cleaner world. We have been researching about climate change. We have been learning about our planet and how to save it before it's too late. I've learned that fossil fumes are obviously they aren't good for the environment. It's just it's making everything go very hot. The planet heating up is obviously melting the you know, polar ice caps, I think. Um, so that's taking away homes, the animals that live there. Sailing and surfing, those have been like my two favorite sports because for some reason I, I, I couldn't understand football. As I started getting deeper, it was like a lot of pollution in there, like plastic. There's been many young people out of jobs due to um, COVID-19. Green jobs could be created if we invested into renewable energy. Green energy is energy that's collected from sources that actually don't harm the environment, like the sun and the wind. So, uh, like all my life, my mum's been talking about climate change. I think I would be interested in developing space travel that was more green. I think the government could get more like, you know, electric cars. For me, my dream goal is just to have like a clear ocean. We're preparing for the future and solidifying a sustainable one. We must act together to save our planet and not destroy it. We are asking ourselves what sort of world do we want to leave behind? And we are asking this of you. I love Sunny G, I love how eclectic it is, um, and I love um, all the random stuff folk come up with for each show, um, and how how it always turns out way different from what you thought it was going to be. Florrie's house, 
good radio. So is Gavin Stewart as well. We're proud of him. <laughs> Brilliant. Put an army in brilliant. You listen to Sunny G? I do actually listen to Sunny G. I love it. I listen to it very specifically when we're in the car and when we go through the bit, because we don't get reception at our house. So when we drive through a bit where we get it, it's like, quick, Sunny G, Sunny G, turn on Sunny G. <laughs> and we love it. Yeah. I think um, a big part of the radio show that hopefully helps to make our members feel connected is just hearing the, the voices of members, like particularly over lockdown when we weren't able to do that. <laughs> Got you. <laughs> And now, our story begins.